Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to eBike Builds. I'm going to show you real quick that the uh, the Sunco 709 AD is capable of making the copper nickel welds. Uh, it's a little underpowered for this. Uh, ideally, you would want like a K weld or something like that. Uh, but this this machine will make this weld on thinner thinner material. What I have is 0.1 millimeter copper sheet, 0.1 millimeter nickel plated steel. Nickel plated steel doesn't make a very good uh, electrical conductor. The steel is incredibly resistant. However, in this application, that's actually a benefit because it's going to create a lot of resistance and a lot more heat to melt through the copper and onto the top of our cell. So I've just got a junky cell here. I've got my nickel strip, I've got my copper strip, and this thing is cranked all the way up to 18p and turned up as high as it will go. We're just going to make a couple of quick taps on here. Alright, that's just uh, two spot welds, makes four welds. And you can see that ain't coming off of there. We can grab the whole strip and it will rip off. <clears throat> but as you can see, it ripped the metal with it. There's still all kinds of bits of metal stuck to the top of this cell. As far as I'm concerned, that's a good weld. That ain't coming off of there. You can break the little, little things off, but... Uh, I don't know if you can see that on the camera, there's still plenty of metal contacted on that cell. This metal ripped all apart, yanking it off. So, it's at the limit of what this unit can do, but it will make that weld. I've built several battery packs this method with this welder, and it is working for me. No issues.